Hello everybody and welcome to another knockoff review. In today's video, thanks to the team over at Sirtoys, I'm taking a look at some of the older Beast Wars knockoffs. I recently got a job load of those come through and I've got some more coming in my next parcel, but this one, this one jumped out at me the most. This is a KO of the 1999 Beast Wars Neo toy Heinrad. Now it's slightly simplified, slight changes in colour, and uh, the accessories aren't quite uh, the same as the original, but all in all, these old school Beast Wars bootlegs are really kind of robust. And in hand, he feels very much like what I got with the official Beast Wars canine figure. It feels like that sort of plastic consistency. Now in terms of the accessories, we do get his bottle of sake, albeit uh, it's very kind of simplified. Now we don't get a missile or anything to go with this one, unless I've mislaid it in the box somewhere. I couldn't see a missile with him, so I don't think it comes with one. And I've also got his uh, scroll with the notes in. As you can see, this is slightly pushed apart, but the idea is that there should be a strap on either side of these. There is on the official, so he can kind of carry them in his... Uh, kind of standing up mode. Now this is his uh, kind of beast form. I believe he's meant to be some sort of Japanese raccoon dog. <laughs> I don't know. I think it's a, into uh, Tunakai, I think, which I believe translates to Japanese raccoon dog. Um, but yeah. <laughs> it's, uh, some of these leave a little bit to the imagination, but look at that, look. Oh, I used to love the raccoons. This is Burt Raccoon. <laughs> Got a few of these. See, I could probably get that off with a blade and then just heat it up. And that should be okay. I mean, this is what you're going to get from these bootlegs. They're a little bit rough around the edges and a little bit of oversimplification. Now, we can bring his head down like so. Bring his arms down. and bring these legs down and normally we would have a clock section here and yes those are indeed his testicles these are balls that just hang down underneath um <laughs> yeah and obviously he would normally be able to carry these on their straps uh, the original also had poseable thumbs so we could bring those around to the hand for his bot mode, or for this mode anyway, and then for when he was on all fours, it'd be have these flat hands. But yeah, we don't get a working clock on here either. And these were back on the original piece as well. Look at him, isn't, isn't he? Um, isn't he sweet? These just tuck in and tuck in. They don't really tab in where they're meant to. They're meant to go further back and tab down. There's also no longer a hinge on his tail. Again, need to get rid of that nexus flashing on there. Yeah, to give you an idea of his scale, that's a new Kingdom version of T-Rex. But at least the same size as Kingdom's Beast Wars Megatron. And that's also the KO of Beast Machine's Black Arachnia. Right now to get him uh, transformed up. It's a shame he doesn't actually have a working analog clock on this, but uh, beggars can't be choosers, I guess. Let's just uh, move these legs down so the tail can come back up. Uh, this section on the leg is going to come up, and this will come up. And we should be able to get the foot panel down these come down there these are a bit of a job to get out i used a tool to get these out because if you uh, if you see here this does fold back but it's just quite a job to get in behind there put his feet down you can then bring these sections up these are then going to come around and bring that one around. This is then going to come up on this rocking hinge, and that should, he says, 
locate underneath. These then rotate around. This is where you really needed that hinge section on the crotch. Lift his arms up and the head section here is gonna split and that's gonna come all the way down these shoulders. Come on. Open, 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 open. There we go. And then the shoulders come and slide down and come and slide down. And then knees can be brought around to the back like so. Look at that, that's, that's not terrible. Now the only way I've got that tail to hide is I've rotated these legs at the knees, bringing this section so it's on the inside, then I rotated the waist back, so this is now at the back again, but it really doesn't want to uh, go up. I wonder if this should have been pinned up that way, so it, uh, see there's a small dent on there as well, that doesn't look promising does it, but there you go. Uh, fortunately his goggles don't move on the original his goggles would have pulled down and he doesn't really want to hold his weapon either <laughs> that's the best i can get him holding that but let's get him on the turntable and take a nice 360 of him and there we have him what a very strange unique individual to say the least but you know he does the job he's a great looking funky ko does what he needs to he is simplified, colours are slightly different, but on display, he's definitely going to look the part. So I've got the uh, black Optimus Primal with the white head. Got that one coming again, that's a bootleg based on the original. And uh, that should square up to this one quite nicely. Yeah, I think as funky little KOs that can just sit in the background, filling up this space, I think this one does exactly what it needs to. And for a quick scale comparison, here he is alongside some of the other desk bots that I've got to hand. That's actually the oversized, simplified version of the Transmetal Rat Trap, which I've still got to review. That's a funky little one. It gives you an idea of how he fares. He's pretty much the right kind of Beast Wars height. I'll include a link in the description below where this can be purchased if this is your cup of tea. And until next time, for myself, and the rest of the collectibles household. Thank you for watching. Goodbye.